Hello kids, how are you today? I'm Mikai from the National Literacy Agency and today I'm going to read the book Granddad Secret Giant Written and illustrated by David Litchfield and published by Francis Lincoln Children Books Kids, now let's sing the hello song Hello, nice to see you everyone. Hello, nice to see you everyone. Hello to you, hello to you, hello to you, hello to you, hello to me, hello, nice to see you everyone. Hello, nice to see you everyone. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello to you, hello to you, hello to you, hello to me. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Now, let's begin reading this book, Granddad's Secret Giant. This book is from the National Literacy Agency. Little Billy was in a pickle. Granddaddy said, We've been painting the town mural all day, but we just can't finish it. No one can reach the top of the wall. Don't worry, said Granddad. I know just the chap who can help. He has hand the sides of the t of tables. Granddad continued, legs as long as drain pipes and feet as big as ring boats. Do you know who I mean? The secret giant, Billy sighed. You've told me about him a thousand times. Granddad, you're making it up. I never make things up, said Granddad. Do you remember when we went camping last summer? Yes, Granddad, Billy groaned. The giant was there watching over us, making sure we kept safe. And, he, and do you know, remember when the town clock was broken? Yes, Granddad, Billy bumbled. It was the giant who fixed it, said Granddad. Uh, do, do you remember when our boat got caught in the storm? Yes, Granddad, Billy sighed. It was the giant who pulled off to, sef to safety to shore. But that's impossible, Granddad, Billy said. I didn't see a giant. Maybe you weren't looking hard enough, Granddad replied. And that's not all the giant's done. He also stopped the big oak from falling in the wind, held the cars cross a bridge while part of it fell down, caught your kite before it blew away, and rescued Murphy when he got stuck on the roof. The giant does all these things for our town quietly, and without making a fuss. And nobody knows except for me. You don't get my age without sharp eyes. But Granddad, but Granddad, Billy said, if the giant is so helpful and good, why does he want to stay such a big secret? Because people are scared of things that are different, said Granddad. When people see the giant, they scream and run away. It makes him sad. I wouldn't be scared of a silly old giant, Billy scoffed. 
If he's real, which he's not, try getting up and going through the morrow, tomorrow at dawn, rather than sad with a wink. And here he, he is, the giant is here. Next Morpy, morning, Murphy woke Billy up at the dawn. He tried to go back to sleep, but Murphy wouldn't stop barking. So Billy decided to take him for a walk and to, to prove what went all for all that Red Dead Secret Giant was a real. When they got closer to the world, Murphy whined nervously. Don't be drowned, boy, said Billy, as they turned to the, cor the corner. There's no such a thing as a giant. He was real, but he was humongous, and he was terrifying. Billy ran away as fast as he could. But then he had a thought. Maybe this was what Granddad meant when he said people are scared of things that are different. Billy turned back. But the giant had gone. Billy went to Granddad and told him what he what had happened. I shouldn't have run away, he said sadly. Well, we... All make mistakes sometimes, said Grandad, but I'm sure you can think of a way to make the giants feel better. What makes you feel better when you're upset? Billy thought for a moment that he had a great idea. I don't know what's a great idea, but let's see. Billy told Grandad his plan and they got to work. They hammered, they sold, they worked hard all day to make the giant a present he would never forget. When it was finished, Billy and Grandad hosted Murphy up high, hoping the giant would come and rescue him again. Then there was nothing to do but wait, and wait some more. They waited all afternoon until the sun began to set. What if the giant doesn't come back, Billy said. Maybe he's fed up of people screaming and running away. Maybe he doesn't want to live in our town because of me. But then, they saw legs as long as drain pipes, hands as big as tabletops, and feet as large as rowing boats. It was the giant. Just like they planned, he rescued Murphy from the ledge. Then the giant saw the present. For the first time Sid Grandad had known him, he smiled. Because what Billy had released was that the giant wasn't just a giant, he was also a person. And he and wanted what everyone wanted when they were upset. A friend. Hope you love the story. Now let's sing the goodbye song. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye, 